This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Kimali at Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos. Welcome, everyone. We continue our conversation on those things the Buhari government must do in the second term in office. The priorities from the point of view of uh, the average Nigerian, what Nigerians really want the government to do. Let's begin by telling you what... Um, one of the federal lawmakers is saying, uh, Senator Peter Nwoboji, the man who uh, almost lost his position or war, lost it at first when the court asked him to vacate the position, removed him, but he got an appeal court ruling, which uh, he won. This is speaking on his victory and the race for the Senate presidency for the Ninth National Assembly. Senator Peter Nwoboji is from Delta State. My position is clear. Two of those who are my friends, and I'm making it clear that I will support Senator Ahmed Lawan for the presidency of the Ninth Senate. My PDP has not taken any position as a political party. And PDP does, did, did not say this is the candidate they want. And I know PDP will not say to you this is the candidate they want. They will only give us a guideline. And I also have a right as a representative of my people they are normal people of their task to say, this is what I think is good for my people. That's an AP, uh, a PDP senator there saying is rooting for Senator Hamalawan of the APC in the ninth uh, Senate. Well, let's now check out uh, some of your political stories in our roundup tonight. The River State Governor Yesom Wike has pledged to reform any issues regarding the delivery of governance in all sectors. The Governor explained this during the signing of four bills into law to mark the end of the 8th State Assembly. The laws include the multi-door courthouse law which allows the judiciary to set other alternative forms of dispute resolution and help speed up the dispensation of justice. Today is the end of the 8th uh, Assembly and was assenting or was assented to the four bills into law. That is a great achievement. The former governor of Benue states, Gabriel Suswam, has emphasized the need for Benue and Asarawa states to put party differences aside and work together to minimize border clashes. He spoke to journalists after a congratulatory visit to Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasarawa state at the government house in Lafia. Suswam, who is a senator-elect, also assured that the Ninth Senate, once inaugurated, will work for the good of the people. Benue and Nasarawa is one state, and so we cannot afford, because of party differences, to um, keep apart from ourselves. The choir state governor, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, in his first official assignment, has promised to clear the salary backlog before implementing the new minimum wage. The governor, while addressing civil servants in the state, noted that the backlog of salaries will be given priority. While promising not to witch hunt anyone, he assured of prompt payment of salaries, adding that Quara would also pay the minimum wage after due consultations with the civil servants and proper assessment of the financial situation of the state. So the truth is I want to get to a state where there's no backlog of salaries and pensions as well. The Ogun State Governor, Mr. Dakwa Biodu, has said that he may be declaring a state of emergency in the education sector of the state to bring the sector to an enviable position in the country. He was speaking in Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, after a tour of ministries, marking his assumption at the governor's office, Oke Moso. While assuring residents of good governance through effective infrastructural development, he also said that his administration would focus more on education to bring it back to the 21st century standard. Yes, we have the largest number of schools in this state. However, the performances of our students are on the decline. We have to change that. So we may be declaring a state of emergency in the education sector.